we started at 319. Yes, sir. Now 319. We're 270. Uh roughly, yes. maybe a little bit up and down. Where you where you getting that information from? <laughs> Get it from you. <laughs> well, from what like what does it pull from? I mean, because I just weighed myself this morning. So the last time you checked in was December 31st. So last week, and you were 270. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is, right there. 269. Are we breaking barriers in here, huh? Yeah, all right. This is the breaking lowest barriers. I've been. This is the lowest I've been since I can remember. Before that, it was 277. Wow. So since, like, how long does your memory go back? Uh, so that's from 277 is when I first went vegan. That was in uh, 2017. How are you again? Damn, yeah. 33. Okay. Like How old are you? 53. I'll, I'll be 32 next month. Uh, y'all young boy. That's why I thought y'all was. I thought y'all was much younger, honestly. I, th- I told the way I thought he was 25. Yeah. How old did you think I was? I thought you was about 28. Oh. Times two. Yeah. 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 I did not, like, y'all camaraderie. I just assumed y'all was like, you know, one was younger, one was older. I mean, that is the case, but still. Why just say I heard when you turn 30, your metabolism slows down? Uh, I mean, it depends on what's going on. Like, there's, yeah, the older you get, yeah, you, you will see some decline. But I mean, your activity levels and like your lifestyle plays a huge role in that as well. But there's things that you can do to make to slow down that process or even reverse somewhat. But yeah, man, that's first off, let's spend some time on that. That's excellent, dude. Like 319 to 269, that in and of itself is a transformation. You know what I mean? Like we're about to go way past that when it comes to like your physique and how you actually look. But as far as like having something concrete and tangible that you can be thankful for, you know, don't don't overlook that. That's a huge accomplishment. So, mm-hmm. so uh, I don't know. For some reason, to myself, I don't feel like you know I'm any different. There's, there's two things lately that made me do that. That made me look like yeah, I came a long way. So I had just bought some pants like before I started the uh, other job, and um, they were like fitting a little. They were fitting and they were a little loose, and that was fine. I was like, it's whatever. But I wore those same pants to the new job the other day, and I, they have a full body mirror. And I looked at myself, and I was like, "Yo, these jaws baggy as shit." <laughs> like they they chinos, and they got like some drawstring or whatever. I was all the way at the end of the drawstring, and it was baggy as fuck. Mm. I was like, "Wow, okay." And then today, my wife wanted me to go get my daughter's sippy cup from upstairs, and I walked to our bedroom. And I'm, from our bedroom, you can see the bathroom mirror or whatever. And I saw the bathroom mirror and I was like, damn, I look good. Mm. <laughs> I was yeah. like, all right. I, and I don't, I don't do the whole shirt off thing like you suggested. I mean, I, I did start doing it, but that's yeah. just me. I'm just uncomfortable like that. Uh, you know, I've been big my whole life, so I'm just uncomfortable with my shirt off and whatnot. Mm. But uh, she likes it though. That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, but I looked at myself and I was like, yo, I look good. Because this shirt is a shirt I used to wear back when I went vegan the first time. It fit me. Then I went a little bit without wearing it because it didn't fit me anymore. But now it fits me. And in fact, I got room in it. And let me look a little swole, too. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. But uh, so yeah, today and yesterday was probably like the two times I was like, oh, wow. I'm actually doing it. Mm-hmm. And then I look at myself while I'm working out. I'm like, oh, yeah, I came a long way. Because I work out, I have a bunch of superhero shirts. Clearly, I'm a nerd. And uh, when I work out in those shirts, it, it, it motivates me. And I see myself, because all those shirts are two X's, because uh, that's what I used to wear. And they're all baggy on me. And I continue to wear them to the gym because I'm like, this is what I used to feel. And that was baggy on me. I mean, and that motivates me to keep going. So I like that. Yeah. That's excellent, man. And I'm glad you brought that up because you brought up one of the things that I was going to mention that's overlooked a lot, which is like how you actually feel and how your clothes are fitting, because that's where some people will see the most progress. Like everyone, like everyone's progress is different based off our genetics and all those different components. So when some people lose a lot of weight, you'll be able to visually see 
the weight loss, right? Mm. Other people literally like their frame starts to slim down. It's like you. I think like you're more of like a, a wider hip, you know what I mean? And that starts to go down more so than like so you, the progress that you've made from when you started to now is all within slimming down, slimming down your frame. So that's why you're seeing all of your your clothes feel fit different. You know, your um, waist slimming down, like all those different things. And that's huge. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, it may cost you a little bit more money because <laughs> now you got to go you shopping know. and such. <laughs> yes. But, you know, that's a good problem to have. Uh-huh.